Well, um, Madison kind of set a very high bar for herself with what she was able to accomplish this week. Can you, um, I guess, reflect a little bit about her season and also what's next for her as far as what she can accomplish? Uh, again, <laughs> Kit's had an incredible year. Player of the year is a great accomplishment for anybody, but for a freshman, um, you know, it's 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 really quite impressive. Um, again, she would give credit to her teammates because that's the kind of kid she is for, um, you know, helping her through the learning curve and, uh, um, so I know she's excited to get back to playing on the wing and playing with, with Rory, you know, she always talks about that and, um, you know, it'll, it, that's, that's something that, that those two kind of talk about a lot. I hear them chirping back and forth about it, but, uh, you know, I, again, I think this, <clears throat> the bar has been set. You're right. And, uh, I think the sky's the limit for her. I mean, she's, She's she's got so many things uh, at such a young age um, and, um, you know, but still has so much room to grow. I think that's what's so exciting for for me in in watching her is just knowing the 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 ceiling is she hasn't you know, she's not approached her ceiling. But the one thing that she's, you know, obviously the consistent the one thing that isn't going to change is she's got that pro body. I mean, she just she's a big old guard that's got a skill set handling a ball that's really not very common. And uh, I think that's what allows her to be so special is is her ball handling. You know, we talk about her shooting forty eight percent in conference, and you know she's got all these gaudy numbers. But I think from a skill set perspective in her ability to handle the ball, like she's just really unique. And, um, and that continues to be a work in progress. She gets herself in a spot every now and then, but, um, you know, I, I think that's because of her size and because of her ball handling ability. Um, you know, I think those are two things that really allow her to be, uh, have a chance to be great. And then she doesn't take very many bad shots. Y'all she doesn't, you know, she's a great free throw shooter. Um, she sees the floor. We've been through all this. She, she's, she's so unselfish to a fault sometimes. And, um, you know, she loves making the pass as much as scoring. And, um, but she just, it's hard to keep her from getting to her spot. And when she gets to her spot, she's really, really, you know, she's really efficient. And so, uh, I think the sky's the limit for the kid. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And, you know, the thing is, y'all, she's a great teammate. Like, our team loves her. Her teammates love her. Um, you know, our coaching staff enjoys her. She's another kid like Shay and Shaylee that every day I know what I'm getting. She's usually got a smile on her face. Um, you know, she just doesn't have any bad days. And, uh, and that you know, that's what makes – Pros, pros. That's what makes kids successful is the ones that they just don't have a bad day. Um, you know, lots of kids, and I mean lots, lots of kids, you know, when they don't feel good or aren't having a, a great day, um, you know, they don't want to practice or they don't want to do this or don't want to do that. Well, y'all know in the real world, you don't, just because you feel bad doesn't mean you don't work, you know. If you only worked on the days you feel good, it wouldn't. It, it, you probably wouldn't have very many work days. And I just, uh, you know, I don't. I think with her, she just she doesn't have any bad days. She's going to be somebody that somebody's going to want to hire because she's always going to be productive. And Shay Holly, same way. Shelly Gonzalez, same way. They don't have any bad days. Um, so. Uh, Maddie's just special, man. She's really, really special in so many different ways. And as a follow-up, what does it say that about Aaliyah that coming up her knee injury, she was able to get, you know, second team. What does it say about Deanna that she got the sixth player award with everything she's had to go through this year, um, injury wise? Well, again, um, you know, when you look at 
Aaliyah, she's our second leading scorer. You know, she's getting 12 points a game and six rebounds a game. Y'all, that's pretty productive. I mean, I'm not sure that's second team material, to be honest with you. Uh, I think that's first team material in my mind. Um, you know, she averages two offensive boards a game. Uh, you know, she's she's pretty productive. Shoots 55% from the field. Um, and And so, you know, I think she's been – productive for us and really productive y'all like she's limited like she's not full go in practice uh, it's hard to get better when you're not in practice every day all day and she's not she's she is so limited she has such um you know she's she has such uh dealing with some issues in the in uh in her knee that uh it's really quite remarkable to be honest with you and uh so i uh you know, I'm proud of her. Uh, at the same time, I, you know, I, it, it's hard. It's hard to really reach your full potential. Hold up. Um, I was trying to use when, the computer so when he's logged in, but I've been told nobody's finished since the morning. Okay. Is somebody right off mute right now? Uh, hold on. Sorry, give me one second. I'm on a Zoom call. Oh, I'm trying to make sure. Hey, I'm just having a press conference. It's no big deal. Um, in any case. What Amos done is really, really special. Well, I'm, I'm, no, you're good. I was, I thought there was a problem with it, so that's why I was like, Darren, oh. I think uh, you're, you should be on mute. Thanks. Go ahead, coach. Does that answer your question, Danny? It does, but could you also talk a little bit about Deanna? Um, well, yeah, I think, I think with Deanna. You know, I knew she had a chance to be sixth player of the year. And, um, you know, with that being said, we, you know, we've been bringing her off the bench. She's certainly uh, been producing at a, at a pretty good level um, for us this year, you know, down the stretch. And, uh, you know, in, in her last. In her last five games, she's averaging 10 and three. And um, in her last three games, she's averaging almost 11 and four. So, you know, I, I knew she'd have a chance for that. It's, it's, it's why we nominated her for that. I appreciate the coaches acknowledging, you know, how important she's been to us and what she's brought to the table coming off the bench for us. Tyler, go ahead. Tyler. Are you there, Tyler? Vic, how are you? Happy um, Wednesday. Thanks. Just to follow up on Madison, before the season even started, there were so many times talking with you, you salivating over what she will be for this team. But could you have ever imagined her to have this season? Obviously, she was put into a different position with Rory's injury. But did you ever picture her as Big 12 freshman and player of the year? Well, I, I think, you know, in the back when Rory was healthy, we certainly – we knew she was going to be a great player. Uh, obviously, we knew Rory was was going to have a chance to to be that, as the coaches did when they picked her preseason. Um, and, and, and playing with somebody like Rory, we knew would really allow Book to ease into and really get comfortable with this level. Um, I go back to – our first closed door scrimmage in October out in Las Vegas against USC Booker played eight minutes. She got in foul trouble. Um, she might even have fouled out, but she was in foul trouble from the get go only played eight minutes in that game. That was her baptism into this level, you know, and, and so you fast forward from there to where we are today, you know, the growth, the, the, the improvement that she's made, you know, I'm really, I'm really proud of. Um, I think there's been a lot of hard work and commitment put into it. Again, the kid's a student of the game. She's coachable. She wants to get better. She listens. She's accountable. Um, and so, you know, when you start thinking about, okay, where were we in, you know, before Rory went down to her being thrown into this position, and how the kid has just embraced it 
and, and it hadn't been easy, y'all. Like, it's not easy doing what she does. It wouldn't be easy if she was a freshman and a freshman point guard, you know, and that's your position. What she's done is quite remarkable. And, but again, as I would tell her, and she and I joke about all the time, I've seen her play point guard before y'all. Like I've told y'all, there wasn't going to be a tryout. When Rory went down, I knew who our point guard was going to be. It was just a matter of how fast could I get her comfortable? How fast could I get her knowledgeable on what needs to happen in that role? You know, what are the important things? Um, because it's it's just a different – you have to have a different mindset and a diff, it's just a completely different role on the team. And and so I think that's that's the thing that's really special about her is that she embraced it. It hadn't been easy. Uh, there's been a learning curve. There's been some bumps in the road, but good night. What she's been able to do and in, in really uh, such a short period of time is – it's remarkable, and it's really, you know, some of y'all been around here for a long time, covered basketball for a long time. When you can think of somebody in the men's or women's game that's done what she's done in the under the circumstances she's done it in, let me know because I'm pretty familiar with who's come through here over the last 20, 30 years and the circumstances that they came through here with. You'd be hard-pressed to find another Madison Booker. Terry, go ahead. Coach, good afternoon. Uh, so I'm curious, Coach, as you guys get into the really tough part of the season, you know, these last uh, next weeks in the championship and the NCAA tournament, how are you keeping the team elevated at that high, you know, production state that, you know, that focused where there are no mistakes. They're, they're not going out there and just playing to play, but they're playing at the standard that you have set and the, the school or the team has set, you know, kind of going back to that saying that you had on the old practice uh, wall, it's not what you do, but how you do it. And so I'm just curious, how do you keep them in that, that world of just operating at that high level? Well, if you'd have been at practice yesterday, Terry, you'd, you'd say, well, I'm not doing it because it wasn't that good. Um, I think we had like a 15 minute segment that turned into 25 where we were given opportunities to up one with 15 seconds or down one with 15 seconds or six seconds out of bounds underneath six seconds, sideline out of bounds, six seconds, defensive sideline out of, we went through a bunch of scenarios. I don't think we executed one time. I don't think we scored one time. I don't think we kept them from scoring one time. It was a struggle, and and I wasn't very happy. <laughs> and, um, you know, I reminded them, you know, of that and reminded them, you know, we're at that segment during the season where everybody's good. <clears throat> you have a bad day. You're going to – you're going to – you're going to be done real early. And, um, you know, nothing's changed. We're still at a, – we're the number six team in the country. We're still Texas. Everybody's still coming for you. We're going to run into – a team Saturday night that's going to be wanting to get us, whoever it is, and we better be ready. And um, and so, you know, it was a typical day yesterday, Terry, to be honest, after you give them two days off. It, I can't remember the last time I've had a good practice after one day off, much less two. Well, as a follow-on to that, you know, uh, talking about the intensity level, I was thinking about, Taylor Jones is she she's about to get she's about to go on a journey uh getting you know uh pretty ugly under the under the boards to protect the you know the rim and and get those rebounds is she is she mentally rare, uh, ready for that is she geared up for this battle that she's about to embark on Yeah I think so she's been through a few battles in her career and um you know, I, I think again, um, it's it's no secret what's coming. And um, again, you you've got to want to be in those moments. And uh, I think for our kids, you know, I think for the most part they want to be in that moment. I mean, this is why Shaylee Gonzalez came to Texas. She wanted to be on a top ten team. She wanted to 
be in the NCAA tournament and, and um, you know, play in it for a while. And so that's our challenge with this year's team, you know. Uh, but we, we've got to continue to get better. Again, I, I take a lot of pride in my teams typically continue to get better. And we get better because we keep working hard. Like yesterday's practice, we weren't out there an hour and 10 minutes and called it a day. We were out there a while. And again, it's what's your focus? What's your, your, what are you intentional about what you're doing? You know, we were really intentional about working on situations yesterday. Didn't execute at all, but we worked on it. And, uh, and so, um, again, we've had some of the, I think when you start looking at our team, you know, and some of the trends that we have right now, we, we've been consistent all year as a pretty good shooting team. A bad trend right now is we're getting out rebounded. That's toughness. A bad trend right now is we've given up back to back free throw blockouts in back to back games. That's toughness. So, those are things that, you know, y'all don't realize, you don't think about, but I do. And, and I'm addressing them every day. Um, but that's a focus, you know, when you're heading into this time of the season, it's about focus and it's about toughness. Really. That's, that's what it all boils down to. And, and so, um, you know, that's, that's where I'm at right now with this group and we'll continue to work on it. Thank you. This is only a test. If this had been an actual emergency, additional instruction would follow. This is only a test. Apparently, we're having a test. Okay, Jonathan, you want to go ahead? Yeah, Coach, um, you know, defense has been a focus for you guys all year. Um, and now that, you know, you're heading into postseason play, you know, just – what 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 all goes into defending at the level you want them to defend at in the postseason conference tournament NCAA tournament? Well, I think um, when you get to this time of year, you know, um, you 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 want to keep doing what what's been you know what you've been doing. You know, you go with the one that's brung you, as uh, Daryl K used to say. Um, I think our kids are smart enough to know when we're locked in on defense, we're usually playing at a pretty high level on both ends of the floor. When we're not playing hard defensively, we usually aren't very, doing very good offensively either. Um, so uh, I just – we don't – if you came to my practice today, I'm going to do the same fundamental defensive drills to start at the defensive part of practice that I did back in October. And um, – that's just, you know, I'm a creature of habit. I think you continue to reinforce your habits. Uh, again, I'm always evaluating. Um, I've gotten away from a couple of my favorite rebounding drills. We did them yesterday. I'm going to do them again today, and I'll do them again tomorrow um, just to address our our inability and our lack of toughness on in, in that area. Thanks. Let's go to uh, Christina. Hey, Coach. Um, just kind of looking back, um, what do you think was the most difficult part about that um, transition phase of getting Madison um, into Rory's role? Oh, it's a great question. I don't, I don't know that anything's been difficult. I think <laughs> here's what's really different, maybe not difficult. When you have a Rory Harmon, I don't spend a lot of time on press attack. You know, Rory was sitting in practice one day. She goes, man, I didn't even realize we, you know, we had all those options in, in, in 50 break or regular press attack or X press attack. I'm like, no, your best press attack is your point guard. You know, when you got a Rory Harmon, you can't trap her. You can't press her. You don't have to spend a lot of time on it. And, and so, um, you know, while Booker is great handling the ball and sees the floor uncanny, she's so, un she's really good. 
Rory, as y'all know, is really fast and really quick, like as in the fastest and quickest in the country. And so, you know, we've spent a lot of time on press attack when we were going against people that we knew were going to press us. And, um, and so, you know, but I don't think, you know, I think it Booker has more than been good at, at handling that part because she sees the floor so well because of her size. Um, you know, I think when you're young, like Rory knows how to draw that foul when she's going to get doubled, she knows if she can't split it or get uh, around it, she knows how to draw that foul, but she's a veteran, you know, uh, books probably still learning a little bit of that, but I don't know that anything was really difficult other than teaching her to take care of the ball. You know, uh, it's not okay to have six turnovers, you know, four turnovers. We need to keep it to two or less. Um, I think that's the piece because she enjoys the pass so much, y'all. She likes to make those 50-50 sometimes. And, you know, I'm not a 50-50 guy. And and so she enjoys that those 50-50 passes sometimes. And sometimes they get through. Sometimes they don't. I don't like the sometimes they don't. And uh, so uh, – but I think, again, she's learned that and she understands the importance of taking care of the ball because – Quite frankly, we got other people that we got to worry about with that too. I don't want to have to worry about that with my point guard. Rory turned it over a year ago over three times a game, and that was way too much. Um, and she took it upon herself to really take care of the ball this year. And she was having an incredible year. Like she was like seven to one. You know, it was really an unbelievable number. It was number one in the country. And so, you know, that's where you want to see growth with all your players. Rory showed tremendous growth in that area. And I know that Madison will too, even when she moves over to the wing. Danny? Vic, from a logistical standpoint, how do you and your staff kind of handle this time of the year prep-wise when you have to prepare for yourself, but also prepare for two opponents on short notice? And how helpful is, to, is it to have someone like Elena, who's been on your staff forever, Blair obviously knows you like the back of her hand. You have a couple other, you know, former players on your staff. I don't know how much they can actually help with prep work, but do you talk just talk about that whole getting ready in tournament time? Yeah, it's 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 really good to have so many people that you know have done it, done it our way. Um, understand what goes into prep. Uh, you know, Elena is so valuable and, and critical to our staff because she's a veteran and uh, obviously Blair and Sydney haven't played for me. Christy haven't played for me. Um, those, 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 those are all coaches that understand and know the importance of detail and uh, you know, where we are, what we want to do. So um, that's what goes into having a great staff, Danny. And uh, I feel like I've got, the best in the country. Our, our staff does a great job with our kids um, in all facets. In this time of year, it's critical. You know, it's all hands on deck. Elena had the Kansas scout and the BYU scout, so she's got this one. Um, the next one, you know, is uh, uh, I believe Blair uh, potentially. And, um, and so, you know, I don't need any help if we get to the third one. I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I think I got a pretty good handle. So we're just really focused right now on that and ourselves. Like I said, I spent a lot of time yesterday wanting to work on some things, some that I felt like we needed to address. And, um, you know, I'll probably have to go back to some of that again today because I just didn't get what I wanted out of yesterday. Any other questions for Coach before we get Maddie on? Okay. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Hey, Madison. Um, we saw the video from practice um, yesterday when Vic shared the news of your award, but can you kind of take us through your words, what it felt like to hear that you were the you know, player of the year in the conference and just what that accomplishment means to you? Um, I mean, it means a lot. Uh, I really didn't think I was going to be, you know, player – of the year for the conference. Uh, two months ago, I didn't even know what I was going to be doing 
like or like how like I was gonna play honestly when worry went down. So uh, that's a big a big one for me. Obviously, you've set the bar pretty high for yourself um, with how you played your freshman year. Are you ready to kind of be facing that pressure for the rest of your uh, college career at Texas? Or how do you kind of approach that? <laughs> I mean, I I put it on myself. Uh, I, I wanted it for myself. So, I mean, it's only up from here. I got to keep learning. got to keep progressing in my game. And, um, yeah, I'm ready to take on the uh, challenge. Madison, uh, so I have a question for you. So you've done so much in just a year, a lot of accomplishments, you've you know, leading the team on the court. I'm just curious, when you look past, look back at this last year, whether it's on the court, off the court, in life or in school, what is Madison Booker most proud of? Uh, I'm proud of just throughout this whole process, just keeping my composure. Um, just staying grounded, staying humble, uh, really just enjoying the moment. Um, you know, I, I mean, like, you get so caught up in like the, you know, the awards, the, the achievements you did. But I mean, you get one, then you want another one, then you want another one. So you gotta keep going, gotta keep pushing forward. Where did you learn that from? Is that something that's just? Your mom or dad or your parents, or your siblings, the aunts, uncles, what? Um, I mean, I really just kind of grew up with that whole mentality. Like, uh, it's really my personality. Uh, you know, I really don't like to brag on myself a lot uh, or hear people brag on me, really. Uh, it's like, you know, to hear it, and it's only like the next thing on. But, I mean, my dad really, he was like that, too. So, I think I just got it from him. Thank you. Oh, I can't hear you. Sorry. Madison, there we go. <laughs> uh, uh, rookie mistake by me. Uh, I was wondering, uh, what what's the general excitement level that you all have right now, you know, getting ready to start postseason play? I mean, I know you've never been here before, but but just, you know, you know, just how good does it feel to finally be, you know, at this point where, you know, everything matters so much? Yeah, uh, I think – this is our whole team is a very excited for his moment. We work so hard and we know that we we still don't have we still have, you know, business to finish. Um people to prove wrong, you know, uh since Rory went down, people thought that we weren't gonna be in this position. So I think just the eager just to show them what we can do still and how we can play together as a team and keep moving forward is just how excited we are to play in the postseason. Madison, since you don't like bragging on yourself, um, why don't you brag on your teammates a little bit? Aliyah, second team all conference, D, six player award, Shea, all defensive team. You know, wh what what did your teammates kind of show you this season and how deserving of those awards were those players? Man, uh, a lot. I can just go down a line. But, you know, starting with D, like, you know, she injured herself twice this season and still got six player of the year. Award. Um, just so proud of her. Just, you know, her trying to fight back from the injury, trying to get her, trying to get her game back, um, like not dust off. And I mean, she's done it. Uh, she's been a big part of this team. Uh, she works hard in practice every day. And I'm just proud of her just to see her get something like out of this. You know, it's been a kind of bad season for her, you know, since being out for a little bit and then play K State and she went down again. So, I mean, I'm just very excited for her to get an award out of this because, I mean, she deserved it. Uh, Amo, you know, she tore ACL last year. She's coming back this year. Um, still, you know, like fighting off the dust and stuff like that. She had a slow start to the season, but she's finally found her game, and I'm so proud of that. I've, I've loved seeing that. I love playing with her on the court. And I'm just I'm just so excited for everybody. Shay Holly, I mean, defensive. <laughs> she was on first team on defense, right? I mean, Rory was our biggest defender on the team. And when she went down, Shea stepped up in a position, which is probably one of the most difficult things that somebody could do. Um, and, I mean, she's doing it uh, every day. Every day she's working on it. Every day she's doing her best on defense. Like, I mean, we go to practice just to 
to try to get better and to try to show that in the game. And, I mean, she's doing it. She's doing it every day in practice, so it shows in her game. Yeah, Vic told a story to us a couple minutes ago about how when you all scrimmaged USC in, in November, you fouled out pretty much immediately and didn't uh, have the best uh, – best game and how much have you grown um since then you kind of called it your baptism in, in college basketball <laughs> since that that scrimmage uh that was first game like first time even really playing together as a team uh against actually a, a pretty good team a pretty good like usc usc team so i mean yeah that was kind of a bad moment i kind of did fall out um they didn't really play the best but i mean i saw that I watched the film, I cringed at it, and I told myself I was gonna get better from that game. And so I mean, it's been happening. Every every step, every day was is was better than that first game, that first scrimmage that ever happened. Madison, I have a school question for you. So are you still intending to pursue mechanical engineering? And why do you like engineering? And then is is coming to Texas, is it what everything you thought it would be being a student at the University of Texas? Uh, still trying to pursue engineering. Yes, I might. Might change it. Might change it a little bit up, a little bit. Um, why did I want to become a, mechan a mechanical engineer? Uh, I've been wanting to be one since fifth grade, actually. Uh, I My mom put me in the summer program. Uh, she told me that I wasn't going to sit around play video games all summer. So she put me in something for, it was three weeks. It was for like an all-girls thing, uh, just going through STEM. And we got to the part of like, of like math and engineering, and I just fell in love with it. Uh, we did, we built the robot and see how far it went. And that was probably like the <laughs> the best thing we did. So, you know, like I, I, like, I love it so much, I went back the next year. Like, I wanted to go back next year. So, ever since, like, then, I've been kind of, like, very interested in, like, engineering and more of the, the like, the robotics type of stuff. So, yeah, it's been on my mind for a long, long time. And how's it being a student? Does, does Texas, of what you thought Texas would be like, is it what is it what you thought? I mean, I, was, I didn't know what to expect. Uh really just go to school, go play basketball, repeat, repeat. Um, you know, just trying to balance it. It, it is difficult sometimes. Uh, you know, get tired from practice, don't feel like doing work. Um, but, I mean, I really just came in to say I'm taking one day at a time. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, one last one for me, Madison. I think you asked this on Saturday, but how ready are you for – tournament play and just kind of a new experience for you and what these next few weeks are supposed to be like yeah um I'm totally ready for it uh I think I'm prepared for the moment I'm prefer me and my teammates like we're definitely prepared uh I mean me on a like a like my own level I think I prepared enough by watching film from past games from the past two months of just me playing on both ends uh, just take that, just take what I learned, continue to work and practice, continue to get better. Uh, and I think it'll be a, a good showing, a great showing. Thank you. One more from uh, a media member who had to get off the call here that I'm going to add. I think you talked about it a little bit, but just um, at the beginning of the year, um, could you have envisioned being – uh, player of the year and freshman of the year? Uh, I mean, you know, I thought about it uh, beginning of the year. I won preseason freshman of the year. Uh, I mean, I really – it wasn't my goal. Uh, really just – my goal was just to win Big 12. That's really been my goal since the beginning, since I got here. Uh, I haven't really thought more about my own personal goals. But I mean, <laughs> I mean, I got it. So I'm so super, super, super proud of myself. Uh, it's a lot of hard work. It's very hard. <laughs> I can say it was very hard. But I'm proud of myself for getting them goats. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.